Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the weekend read for the sign of Scorpio. I hope everyone is doing well. We're going to jump right into this. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And you already know what to do. If love shows up, what do we do? We reverse the roles as needed, okay? Your overall energy for this weekend, Scorpio, is the Nine of Wands. What you strategizing, huh? You just standing in your power? Hmm. Tell me all about it in the comments. What's going on with Scorpios this weekend? The Scorpios, the ones that have subscribed to the channel, that like our channel, share our videos, like our videos. Ah, I'm going to I'm gonna leave it like that. You need me in the chest? I'm going to leave it like that. Still a good card. Sun in reverse. What else we got? The Scorpio Collective, those that are divinely guided to our channel. What's going on with those Scorpios? This weekend of September the 16th. 2022 or whenever they are guided to see this video. What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio! That's my game. The strength card, the Leo energy. Okay. You might feel like something ain't gonna be happening, but it's gonna happen. Aries. The Fool. Oh. New beginnings. Could be a warning. We're going to find out when we clarify. What's going on with the Scorpios? Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. All right, let's move this over. All right, we got the Five of Cups. Okay. The Ace of Cups and a Seven of Wands. Wow, that's different. It's at the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Swords. It's over now. And it's time to heal. Okay, the sun card in reverse. Why is this here? Why is the sun in reverse from the Scorpio Collective? Why is the sun in reverse? Thank you, because you're trying to heal and you're being told, you know, you may be frustrated. I mean, and this is just going by our readings. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a Scorpio too. Um, by the Scorpio reading. Um, that, that we have been trying to get over some past love or whatever. And you may be thinking to yourself, you know what? I, I cannot wait until I'm over this, you know? And that's what it says. And the sun in reverse says it doesn't seem like it's going to, it's going to, uh, the sun's going to come out, but it will. It's coming. Okay. It's just taking a little time. And the Sagittarius energy of the, of the, uh, oh, I just had a brain fart. Temperance is, uh, all about healing. So. You're going to, you're healing. You're going to be fine. Okay. Could be over an X. Could be a sickness. You just want it to be over. Okay. I get it. Because I know I'm, I'm, I don't I'm, know I'm tired of being sick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. An offer might be coming in also. The strength card. Why is this Leo energy here? Why is this Leo energy here? Strength card, why is the Leo energy here for the Scorpio Collective? You're, you're, you're being told just to be strong. Be strong through this time of your healing. You're going to be fine. Oh. Yeah, be strong because the ending is, is near, okay? With the World card. And a new passionate beginning is coming with the Ace of Wands. But with the Four of Cups is saying, don't miss it. Keep your eyes open. All right? Dang, I did that real close. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep, your, uh, keep, keep your head on the swivel. Okay? Because you're, you're, all of this is going to be over. So they're just telling you to be strong. Stand in your power. You're going to be fine. Okay? Good stuff. Yeah. You're going to walk away from this. This is a liar. You're going to have success, okay? Stay steadfast. The the Fool. Why is this here? For the Scorpio Collector. That Aries energy. Why is this here? Okay. Yeah, you're going to get a brand new beginning. It's going to be a great relationship. Look at there. It may even be marriage. Yeah, you ready to leap? You ready to leap into a new relationship? Is that what that's saying? That you ready to leap into a new relationship, Scorpio? But you're gonna get this new beginning. Let's go to the Five of Cups and see what's going on here. Why is the Five of Cups here for the Scorpio Collective? Come on. Oh, 
okay, just trying to give me some of my own aim to flip it over. Good stuff, okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see those. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. We got two cards of renewal. You're going to have a renewed spirit. And an offer is going to come in for a brand new beginning here or reconciliation from a past relationship with the Five of Cups. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all don't want to hear that because judgment talks about um, or getting, having a renewed spirit or have, being at a crossroads. So you could be at a crossroads about making this offer for a, 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 a redo. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. You're at a crossroads about making this offer because you regret how something ended. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So that still leaves me kind of puzzled about this fool and a hierophant. Hold on. Yeah, because this message of love, you want to you wanna deliver it and you're thinking how to go deliver this message of love. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Um, can I get another, can we get another card for the fool please? Let us, let us clarify this hierophant. Why is that there? What? Give us another card, please. Thank you. All right. We got the Three of Swords, the Lovers, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Somebody cheated and broke this relationship up. It was a soulmate. Somebody cheated. And broke this relationship up, this soulmate relationship. And they've been really missing this Queen of Wands. This is a very beautiful person. Beautiful, take care of themselves, work out, get their hair, nails done, all that stuff. Yeah. So. And it looks like it was a marriage. Somebody cheated in their marriage. I'm sorry, I forgot about the hyphen friend that was down there. And somebody's feeling left out in the cold. So, this is a warning about going back to this relationship. That's what that's saying. This is a warning. You was in a relationship, somebody cheated and broke it up. Now they're feeling left out in the cold and missing someone. They regret what happened in the relationship and they're at a crossroads. Should they go back and offer this brand new cup and try to get a, re a, a, a reunion? But this is a warning to remember what happened in the past. You can forgive, you just don't forget. Wow. Thank you, Father. Ace of Cups. Why is this here? There's love here. There is love here. There is a lot of love here. But that is the cups. Love overflowing. So that's why you're thinking about going back and making this offer, Scorpio. Yeah. You're trying to get out of these feelings. And that's what we were talking about. Here. At the beginning of the readings, it's about healing. But the two of swords, the Scorpio energy, that's you. But it also talks about cutting something off. So you're trying to cut off these feelings that you have for this individual. Because you regret how it ended. Oh my goodness gracious. Good stuff. Yeah. You want to talk about this. You or them. I think it's you though, Scorpio. You want to talk. This is... Uh, Recipro this is a reciprocation card. So you, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that you, and, and this is communication. That's why I say you want to talk to them and see what's going on. Wow. Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? 
for the Scorpio Collective. What are they going to be victorious about? Seven of Wands. Thank you. Page of Wands. Talks, talking about tapping into your creativity. Nine of Cups. So that you can get your wish fulfillment. Thank you. And your wish fulfillment would be to get away from this liar and do what's best for you. Put an end to it and get to your new beginning. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. The Seven of Wands talks about defeating your, your enemies. Okay. I want to show you. And so what you're going to do this weekend is you're going to tap into your creativity. Thinking of ways to get to your wish fulfillment and get away from this liar, this cheat. Okay, we, we see the cheat here. Okay. And and do what's best for you with the two of wands. Make a decision to do what's best for you. And put a death, put death to it so you can get to your new beginning. See the sun? Wow. Scorpio, that is you guys reading. Wow. You're trying to turn that love off, but you, you guys know it don't work like that. But this person cheated on you, and they probably went back to somebody from the past, some soulmate. Because you guys were married, they cheated with a soulmate, looked like with the um, Gemini card there. Or it could just be a Gemini, you see? Yeah. So you're being warned. To let it go and do your healing. Do your healing, Scorpio. I think that's how you guys really went the other day. You, you, it's telling you to be strong. Be strong. And put it into this so you can get to your new beginning. If you put it into it, you get your new beginning. Pay attention because somebody might be coming to you. All right? Anything else for the Scorpio Collective? Look at their universe working on your behalf. The Most High got this. Okay. Anything else for the Scorpio Collective? For this weekend? Or oh, whenever you're to see it? Thank you. Okay. The star in reverse says that you don't... It, it's sideways, but this, this side is higher, so I count that as being um, in reverse. And it could be that, you know, this is mental illness, the star in reverse. And it says that, you know, you don't have to, I mean, it doesn't hurt to go get help, to get mental help. Oh. So this person, I wonder if this person is the one that's, 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 that's coming back for you or you. And you want to go make this offer because you feel bound to this individual. You feel like you can't move past them. Even though you're trying. So it doesn't hurt to go get some help. Go talk to someone before you make that decision to, you know, to go back and, and make that offer. Yeah, that's what that's saying right there. You need to stand in your power and do your healing, Scorpio. So that you can have the, that equal give and take love. This is the twin flame card for me. And you, you, you want this. You want this equal give and take love. Mutual respect. Mutual love and everything Scorpio. But maybe you should go talk to someone. I don't care if it's a sister. Brother. Mother. Father. Friend. Pastor. I don't care. But you need to go talk yourself through this. A therapist. So that you can do your healing. Okay. Um, advice. I'm going to go to the African goddess rising deck. Scorpio. Thank you. Let's get some messages. Some, some. Oh wait. Okay. 
Let's get some advice for the Scorpio Collective. Yeah, it's been a rough road. I see it. I see it. I've been through it myself, so I know. Yeah. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. All right. We got Goddess Sekhmet, Wounded Healer. Yeah. You need to take the time and heal yourself and get through this process so that you can help others. You know, just like us tarot readers, we done been through some stuff. People just didn't get up and start doing these cards. Because I know through my pain is how these cards found me. Yeah. So, you got to do some healing, huh? Mommy Wata, naked. Yeah. It's all right to be honest. Open and honest about your feelings. Although you're trying to get away from this situation here. Mm. You're trying to get away from this situation. And you you want to run back so bad because there's some... You feel like there's a, some unfinished business, but you're being warned not to go back. That's all I'm seeing. Because this person is a cheater. But talk to someone and speak frankly. <laughs> and then the card, the next card was speak up. Main combo, bang, speak up. That's right. Speak up and speak your truth. <laughs> yeah. Speak your truth. That's that's what that's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, speak your truth, huh? If it makes you feel better to talk to that person, you know it is what it is. As long as you get out of this energy, you know, don't be yelling at folks. Just just speak your truth, because when you yell, it just makes people want to yell back at you, and that doesn't help anyone. All right. Um. Yeah, it looks like your your weekend is going to be transformative. That's what that's the best word I can come up with. It's going to be transformative. You're going to be um you're going to do some deep thinking, you're going to communicate with some people and make a decision to finally put an end to this um this attachment that you have that makes you feel like you're bound. Okay? But take your time. You know, take your time. Take your time and be strong because the universe is on your side, okay? The most high got you, all right? Thank you, Scorpio, so much for sticking around and coming to Scorpio's Tiger's Tarot. Make sure you hit that like button. Go say something in the comments. Let me know what's going on with y'all because that was kind of complex right there, you know? Good luck with that, all right? And you guys know what I always say on the weekend readings. Make it a great weekend on purpose. I will see you guys next time.